Hello YouTube, this is another one of those back EMF circuits but um, instead of a reed switch we're using two brushes so there's uh, multi-stranded wires across this uh, piece of wood and on top of the rotor there's um, little sections of um, metal tape and the spinning of the rotor is what makes and breaks the connection as you can see it's going really fast and um, let's see so I also added this um, iron bar in, in here and uh, this iron bar goes into the air coil and uh, it just uh, strengthens the mag induced magnetism in the air coil and it seems to be doing really well and uh, the purpose of this coil is just to hold the the brushes in place and um, I'm going to disconnect the load so you can see the spark how big the spark is And that's a spark uh, that's uh, uh, the input voltage is only 5.9 volts at 400 milliamps, the same as in the other videos. Okay, I'm just going to stop the rotor so you can see the top of it. And uh, let's see. Okay. I'm going to disconnect one of these. Sleeves. Okay. So you see I have two um, metal strips over, over, over uh, two of my magnets. So there's four magnets in the rotor. I have the south, uh, south pole covering with the metal strip. And the same, same thing on the other side. So um, magnetism is induced in the coil. And then when the switch is broken, the polarity is reversed in the coil. So it pushes, it creates a, a push. So, um, so you want it to push over certain poles and, and uh, pull o over other po poles. So basically it's a push and pull type of system. So um, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I no longer think that at least Kalman used um, a pulse system. Pull systems are great, but after reading uh, his magnetic current uh, paper, uh, I no longer think that that's what he was using. So he was all about uh, using magnetism in a, in a circle without losing any kind of magnetism out of your system. So um, I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to Edley Skelman, and I'll have pictures and all kinds of stuff. So. Stay tuned for that, you guys. Okay, so I decided to run a little experiment. I, uh, across the brushes, across my uh, brushes, I uh, connected this inductor, this bottle inductor. So um, on this inductor, I have, um, it's 20 gauge wire, enamel wire. First layer is clockwise, second layer is counterclockwise. Well, I fixed it uh, with masking tape and uh, inside I just have regular tap water and um, on, the, on the other side I have one, one side hooked up to a, a large capacitor and then the other wire is hooked up to the negative terminal of the capacitor and this capacitor is 200 volts 820 microfarads and look how fast this thing, this thing is going now. Okay, so now no notice what happens when I d disconnect the capacitor from the circuit. As you can see, it slows down drastically. Okay, now watch what happens when I reconnect it. Again. Notice when I disconnect the capacitor. Okay. 
No, when I reconnect it. Oh man. Okay. So for some reason adding the capacitor to the circuit speeds up the, the rotor. So I find that very interesting and I hope you, that you do as well.